I, I'd actually like to give uh, a little bit more flavour, though, to um, you know some of the some of the things that happen on the ground and how we participate in, in these things. I'd like to turn to a, really a core part of our business strategy, sustainability, which uh, derives operating stability, and our social responsibility, which is core to oil search's DNA. Some of the softer issues uh, and on the ground issues I'd like to concentrate on now. As PNG's largest company and largest investor, we recognise that we must play a constructive role in the development of the country, working with governments and various stakeholders to help deliver critical services in health, education, infrastructure, and it's absolutely essential to our ongoing success. I might also say it's actually the right thing to do too, morally the right thing to do. At All Search, we have a comprehensive strategy that covers programs through the company and our foundation to help uh, deliver the legitimate expectations of our communities. Isn't it right that people in PNG have expectations of decent health services, good education for their kids, a road and, ac a road and access to power, employment and business opportunities? We think that's a fundamental human right and we want to play a part, working with our partners to deliver that. How long do you think we will have a stable business environment, a safe working environment for our workers, an environment where we can grow and develop our business without playing some role in using our skills to address some of the social challenges that are present in the remote parts of PNG, in the communities in which we work? Partnering with government and other stakeholders, helping to build capacity to deliver these fundamental services is absolutely critical to our operating stability and our business ethos. All Search has all its assets in PNG, so if we, if we think, we sink or swim by ensuring we bring our communities along with us. It's an essential part of our business and it's the right thing to do, as I say. Although other people do things differently, our fences keep the dogs and the pigs out of our operating areas. They don't keep the communities out. They can shut us down whenever they want to, and realistically, it's not the government or the police that will stop them. And even if they could, that's not sustainable. It's essential we bring our communities along with us and play our role with government to meet their legi very legitimate aspirations. Otherwise, we don't have a business here. And that's why we spend so much time and effort in working on these issues as a core strategy. Uh, and this is really core to our corporate DNA. Some examples of what we've done in recent times. Uh, around um, 18 months ago, um, Tari Hospital was largely operated by Médecins Sans Frontières. And MSF decided that they were going to pull out of uh, the hospital. And effectively, the hospital uh, would have been left with almost nothing. There were no... Uh, medical systems, there were no HR systems, there was uh, pretty well a collapsed organisation. And All Search and our foundation decided that that was not acceptable for us to see that hospital collapse and almost half a million people in our project area would have been without a major hospital. And I stress this, this hospital would have collapsed. So through All Search and our foundation and working with government and working with both the national and provincial government to improve capacity, All Search went in there, spent some money, some seven odd million dollars to date, to actually build the capacity of the hospital with a target of making it one of the best hospitals in the country over a five year period. We've recruited a high class national CEO, we've now got doctors, we've got dentists, we've got uh, obstetricians, gynaecologists, and a hospital that actually works. Now, how long do you think our Hooli brethren, who are really interesting, challenging people, would be sitting there with a large LNG project in their backyard without a hospital? Do you think that's morally right for us to allow that to do it? Some people we say, would say, we pay our taxes, let the government do it. But the government is challenging. It has challenges. And building capacity in government, a sustainable capacity in government, for government and the NDOH to run that hospital has been a core part of our processes working in Heller. That uh, hospital has a family support centre. That family support centre 
uh, on average sees 100 odd new rape cases a month. This is a challenging area. Common tribal fights, common tribal fights. Three months ago, there were two women in that hospital. They'd had their arm chopped off and their leg chopped off and they'd been raped. What are we doing as an organisation not to help and step up to that process? That's one example that All Search does, which is really on the ground support for significant social development and community development in, in Hella. Another example, power. How long do you think it will be for the Hela communities sending gas off to Japan and China and whatever, and they don't have access to power? How long do you think that'll be before there'll be problems? So we're actively working with PNG Power to deliver reliable power right across Hela, to roll out uh, connections with PNG Power across uh, the project area, a key part of our business. Another, another small project, Book Belong Pikinini, bringing education to five and six year old kids through a really, really well developed uh, literacy program. And we had significant challenges in the first few weeks there because there were just too many people who wanted to be involved and their parents, desperate parents, were actually quite vociferous about wanting to be involved. So instead of going from one shift, we now have three shifts in that school. And isn't it wonderful to watch a Huli man, who generally can be pretty aggressive and involved in tribal fight, standing outside the classroom with the kids inside singing songs, touching their nose, rubbing their chest. And there's these Huli guys outside with their machetes touching their nose, rubbing their chest, touching and singing all the songs. That's what on the ground impact has. I understand absolutely the need for all the, the, the international protocols, all those things, but it also is impactful to see what happens on the ground and have an impact socially every day to the people of, of Hela and around the country. All Search has spent uh, over $300 million uh, on a range of infrastructure projects in education, in infrastructure, law and justice, district administration, national infrastructure, in Hela, Gulf, Southern Highlands, NCD, Simbu, um, uh, Western Province, to name a few. We have health projects for HIV, we have health projects for malaria eradication, we have health projects uh, that deal with TB, another major issue, especially in Gulf. All of these things have paid serious dividends in social development in, in the country. It's morally absolutely the right thing to do, and it's been great for our business. Disruption to our operations since production started has been minimal. We've not delayed a single export cargo due to landowner disruption to our operations, and it's not driven by overbearing security forces, as seen in other parts of the world. It's driven because the vast majority of the people want us in their community. They could stop us tomorrow if they want the fences won't keep them out. They want us in our community, in their community. We don't always get things right, but we recognise that when it comes to complex issues such as land ownership, a rapidly changing society, changing cultural norms, we need to work closely with communities and the government to improve the efficiency and timeliness of benefits distribution. This is a huge focus for us and our partners in PNGLNG, and progress is being made. We need to communicate how much and where the benefits from our resource developments are going and help our communities and government work through the, the complicated, very complicated um, land ownership, uh, competing land claims that, that are actually prevalent pretty much everywhere in PNG. Active participation by developers and governments in the EITI, Extractive, indus extractive Industries, transparency initiatives has been a huge positive for PNG. There's still a lot to do, but uh, to improve the understanding of what gets paid and where the benefits go. And there is so much more to do to improve that understanding and improve the efficiency in benefits distribution. As I say, this is a major priority for us and our partners to work with the new government when they come in after the election to address these issues. 
Progress is being made, recent progress in the plant site area uh, in Port Moresby, new progress along the pipeline, and uh, we already have established uh, processes in the oil business. All progress is being made, but there's so much more to do. As you see, I'm, I'm actually into this. <laughs> As an organisation, we're absolutely committed to open, transparent and mature engagement with our landowners and other stakeholders. We are always open to answer questions and provide clarification on company issues and direction where we can. Of course, the company is passionately interested in climate change. We are an oil and gas company, so some people won't like us because of that. We're just an oil and gas company. We are. But we believe that gas and LNG plays a major part in any energy equation for the world for the next 50 years. It's a reality that fossil fuels will remain a key part of the energy equation, along with an ever-growing renewables part for many years to come. We've been on the road for some years now to understand not just the risk to our business of a lower carbon world in a, a two-degree a two C world, but also the opportunities. And as inputs and expectations change, risks and opportunities arise. We're right now in the final stages of front engineering design for a, for a uh, biomass project fired on sustainable trees in the Morabi area to produce 15 megawatts of power. That actually is holding back a potential development of coal in Papua New Guinea. Uh, and uh, we think it's the right business that we should be in. Again, part of our power distribution process, uh, depending on who you talk to, only about 9% of people in PNG have access to reticulated power. We want to play a role in fixing that. We're happy to report our progress and work uh, on, on this work and play an appropriate role in optimising our business in a lower carbon economy. We just have to. We've been reporting where we are at on this journey and as our work uh, matures, we're happy to continue dialogue on these issues with our shareholders. We work in a beautiful country with a unique and pristine environment. And for those of you who do know me, I'm a passionate scuba diver. And having witnessed uh, significant coral bleaching in PNG in the last 12 months, it's not a good sign. And I saw that last week when I got two days diving in Milne Bay. Yes, we're an oil and gas company, but realistically, someone has to produce the fuel to bring you here by plane or road. The provision of competitively priced energy, especially for the developing world, is, is a major priority. Recognising, though, that climate change is real and, and transition to a lower carbon economy into the future is essential, and we want to be part of managing that business. 